Hello friends, welcome to Camenter. Today I am going to discuss how to master inorganic chemistry for the preparation of ITG or NEET examinations in 30 or less than 30 days. Best approach to prepare Step 1 First, you have to read NCRT chemistry book thoroughly. Second, you have to solve questions. These questions can be from NCRT book or from any reference chemistry book. Then you have to solve last 10 years question papers of ITG or NEET. Now if you fail in either step 2 or 3, that means if you cannot solve questions from NCRT book or from uh, previous years question papers, then you have to go back to step one that means we have to study ncrt book again so this approach is the most productive way to do in one month or less than that you should start a habit of studying in organic chemistry for about two hours daily you can devote one hour in the morning and one hour before going to sleep for continuously 27 days. Let's be familiar with the inorganic units. We have periodic properties, S block elements, P block elements, D and F block elements. In order to study S, P and D block elements, you have to have knowledge of periodic properties without which these units cannot be studied fully. Next we have chemical bonding, coordination compound, metallurgy, hydrogen and its compounds. Inorganic chemistry cannot be studied just by cramming the facts and reactions only. It requires extensive knowledge of basic concepts and remembering some facts. People very often say inorganic chemistry needs cramming or mugging up but I will say inorganic chemistry does not require mugging up everything you have to know some facts you have to remember some facts then with the help of chemistry concepts chemistry principles all the uh, context of inorganic chemistry can be studied smoothly Most importantly, it requires regular problem practice like other subjects. Like mathematics needs practicing. Inorganic chemistry also requires problem solving. Only by practicing the difficult kind of questions, you will be able to master all factual and reasoning concepts of inorganic chemistry. Very often, people say, NCRT chemistry book or NCRT book is the Bible of all NEET aspirants or JE aspirants. Why NCRT chemistry book is so important? It is because NCRT book contains everything but not with full explanations. NCRT, if you study NCRT books, that means you know 99%, 90% of the concepts. So there is a simple approach to study NCRT chemistry book. First, read the chapter or unit like a story but seriously so that you will get an idea of the unit. Second time, read it very thoroughly line by line and try to understand every concept and minute detail in the chapter. And I'm sure when you read NCRT book, you will not understand some concepts, some terms. So in that case, you can take the help of any reference book. Be clear with the term, with the concept involved. And after that, again, come back to NCRT to finish studying line by line. You can make a summary or handy short notes on the unit where you highlight the main concepts 
key points properties uses exceptions members following some other common traits etc remember gnit is notorious for exceptions do you need study materials like pdfs of chemistry please subscribe my channel and download them from the links given in the description in my upcoming videos more links will be given in the description in my next video i shall be discussing how to prepare individual units of inorganic chemistry i shall make one video for each unit if you find my videos helpful please do let me know good luck thank you please subscribe my channel for the latest updates of our videos click on like button below if you have liked this video please share this video on facebook twitter so that others can also be benefited